Welcome back everyone to JFace Games. Today we are talking about dice. We're talking about math, um, which is our favorite subject. That seems to be uh, one that we've enjoyed in the past. So let's get right into it. For those that don't know, we are trying to build an RPG on this channel. We've kind of had a, um, a change recently in the base dice mechanic. Now it's more of a challenge dice mechanic. Uh, you can watch the last video to get more details on that. Today, what we're gonna talk about is what's the math look like. So in essence, the idea here is that if I were to roll in that dice mechanic, if I have a stat that's a d4, or if I have a stat that's a d6, a d7, or d8, or d9, whoop, got a little crazy there, d4, d6, d8, d10, if I had that, and we're going to say that the um, instead of position, I use I started using the word pressure recently. The pressure in a scenario is another dice. That is a d4, d6, d8, d10, d12. And that pressure represents how challenging of a situation you're in. Now, what we talked about last time is that that pressure die could either be on the scenario card, meaning that anything in that scenario is under that amount of pressure, or individual monsters might have their individual sort of pressure die, right? So what happens? You roll your dice, you actually as the player get to pick up the pressure dice and your stat dice, your attribute dice, roll them both, and you're trying to meet or get higher than the pressure dice on your die, right? So what does that look like? So I did the math here, and so you guys can now pause this and go through it on your own and kind of get a look at it, but I kind of like it. It's got a nice little spread. And this is showing at the top, what is the dice that you have that you're rolling? And then what is the dice that you're rolling against? And you can see that, I mean, even a D12, you've still got a 21% chance with a D4, and that's not taking into account the different modifications that you're gonna have with your own, uh, the teamwork's you know, uh, points, or um, potentially getting advantage, or pluses, etc. right? But I like this, This I like that it's, it's only a 62% chance with this, with a D6 versus a D4, 75% chance, D8, D4, 81%. So I think there's a nice spread here. Now, one of the other things I started thinking about is that I really like games that have these with consequences. You know, I have mentioned this before that I personally like the system in Quest where they don't say with consequence, they say uh, a choice. And I like that a little bit more, but the same concept where, where is the win consequence with this? So what I started thinking about is what happens if the win consequence happens when you roll even? When I roll a d4 and the position is a d4 and I roll both are twos. That is just now, instead of that just being a success, if you meet the DC, if you hit the number, that's a success with consequence. I, I think of that thematically as the player and the opposition are evenly matched and so they're both getting some form of success out of that, right? So what does that do to the math? Well. What ends up happening is that this shows you your pure success rate, right? This means that this is success without meeting that with consequence. And this is showing you what's the percentage of the time you're going to have a success with consequence. Once again, I kind of like it. You know, I kind of like this, the math in terms of how it's, you know, shaping up at this point in time. So you could stop here or you could pause here in the video and you could take a look at that. Uh, so you could leave comments for me and you give me an idea what you think. But so far, I like how this is kind of shaping up. Now, what are the ways you modify dice, all right? What are the different things you're gonna be able to do with your dice to potentially get bonuses? And I thought this was important because this is sort of the, you have a base dice mechanic and one of the ways the DM, one of the powers, the way the DM is gonna shape the narrative is that they're gonna choose what the current pressure level is. And I think that's one way of shaping the narrative. The other ways to shape the narrative is to give advantage, disadvantage, or pluses but you have to understand what that does mathematically to the game if you're gonna do that. So let's take a look. So I'll orient you into what this means because each each of these six successively has another row or another column. So this is, you're rolling a D4 and once again, this is that percent chance of hitting a D4 against these dice. This is how much of a shift in percentage do you have if you add plus one? So this, plus 19 means that plus 19%, meaning this is an 81% chance, right? Whereas a D2 gives you a plus 32% chance. A plus D means plus the equal same dice, right? So a plus D means you're adding another D4, extra dice. 
And this is showing that at lower levels, having an extra dice is not actually, or at, at lower dice, which makes sense if you've only got 4% potential dice rolls, um, that having a plus one makes it really powerful. But adding an extra dice, not so much. And then this shows you what happens with disadvantage. Now, when we get higher with these other dice, what I've added is you have the plus D, which means that, that you're adding the same dice as what that dice is. And then you have a plus D4. And then down here, it's plus D4 or plus D6. And then here, plus D4, plus D6, plus D8, because this is a D10. So it's showing you what happens when you add different levels of dice. Because down here, I believe you'll see, for instance, if you add plus one, only an 8% chance increase, but a plus D10, that's a 12%. So when the dice get higher in level, having quote unquote advantage, is it more beneficial than when the dice are lower in level, having plus one is more beneficial. So what does this mean? This means that as the game designer, I'm gonna to have to take that into effect. And some of the things that happen from this, which I think are cool, is having more static powers that don't quote unquote just say something like advantage. Um, meaning that let's say uh, you have a, you go with a fighter or warrior sort of archetype. Well, what it might have is like one of the base abilities might be you get plus D4 with uh, striking, right? So this is the idea that you're getting a plus D4 roll on your um, base fighter abilities. Now, what's nice about that is that really helps you out at level one, but later on when you're getting up into like, or tier one, but when you're in like tier three or four, it's not as potent, but hopefully at that point in time, you've taken other feats to potentially improve that, right? The other thing would be, now, now that would be like a combat sort of system, right? Because I don't wanna give the plus one because it's too powerful early on and then it's kind of weak later on. So you kind of figure out when do I give the pluses versus when do I give these other benefits? Another thing I thought about is giving more, if we get into skills, I think the skills, I kind of like how easy D10 does, or easy D6 does it. And I'll do a video on easy D6 because that recently came out only like a month or two ago and it's got some really great ideas in it. And one of the things they do is they, they kind of have this character design where the first thing you do is you pick your character archetype, sort of like, you know, I think they have uh, fighter and then they have like channeler and they have these sort of, or it's warrior, it's not fighter, it's a warrior. And then it comes with like two abilities, like this, where it's like you get plus four to striking. I think they say in that system, it's you get boon with melee attacks, which is in essence saying you have advantage with all melee attacks because of their dice system. But the other thing they do is then they have this list of like um, attributes or feats, or I don't know what you want to call it. I don't remember what they call it, you know, in, in uh, it might be called edges if you're playing a game like uh, Savage Worlds. But the idea is like, okay, now you take some skills or some other things that sort of shape your character. So one of those might be, I think in that game, it was like stealth, right? So now you that's when you take something like stealth. It's not that you get stealth as a thief, you take stealthy. And now you have, in that system, it would be like, now you've got advantage with any sort of stealth roles. And so same here, it's like we could do acrobatics. And then what acrobatics is, you get plus D8 for any, um, uh, acrobatic or jumping, not eh, jumping, and you know, some systems do athletics, acrobatic or nimble um, activity, right? So now in this scenario, one of the things I'm thinking about for skills, skill checks, is that a skill check is just your tier die based on whatever the pressure is or whatever the situation is, right? So if you're tier one, you technically only have a D4, right? So if I'm in a scenario where I'm trying to jump out of the, maybe jump out of the way of something or jump up onto a table or, you know, roll and get somewhere. If I don't have something like acrobatics, well then I've only got a D4 tier in that. And now I might have a situation where I'm under, you know, a D6 pressure scenario. So now I've got a 42% chance of being successful. Well, if I've got acrobatics, technically that would be here. Now I've got a 74% chance of being successful because it's a D8 plus four. And the nice thing is that regardless of my tier die, well, no, I mean, so this is just a thought and these would be expensive. You only get maybe like two of these to help shape your character initially, right? Um, or three of these. 
And so that's where we're at right now. This is the math. This is the potential for skills in terms of everything's just your tier die unless you've got some sort of ability that helps modify that in some way. Um, and then we're taking into account potentially more advantage type stuff early on that gives an all advantage, quote unquote, is just it's telling you a specific die. You are using this die with that. Um, occasionally you might have a ability that says you get advantage but that's just a very powerful ability because later on it's gonna be super powerful because uh, it's better when you get bigger dice. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today. Let me know what you think of the math so far. Hit subscribe, hit the bell, leave comments because I really wanna know what you guys think. Um, and you can always come back to this and pause it and take a look. All right, see ya.